Hey guys, what's going on? Spipperx here, back for another LEGO Ninjago video, and in this video we're counting down the top 10 best Ninjago Season 11 minifigures. This new wave of Ninjago sets for summer 2019 is packed with some awesome minifigures, including the debut of the Forbidden Spinjitzu Ninja minifigures, the Blizzard Samurai, and the Pyro Vipers. With saying that, there are a ton of different minifigures to choose from, but only 10 could make this list. Also keep in mind that this list contains mostly my opinion, your guys' main be different so be sure to comment down below your guys's top 10 after the video with that in mind if you go on to enjoy this video i would highly appreciate a like rating down below and also subscribe to my channel if you guys are not already we're almost at a hundred thousand subscribers which is absolutely insane and without further ado let's go ahead and jump right into this list number 10 Starting off this list is a minifigure that only comes in one set in this wave. This is the Forbidden Spinjitzu Nia minifigure. She's rocking that brand new ninja wrap piece that all these Forbidden Spinjitzu minifigures have with that awesome mold on the top. This minifigure came out great. I love the gunmetal gray alongside the light blue accents. In a recent video, I included a poll to see what color combination you guys prefer for these Nia minifigures, and the gunmetal gray and light blue version basically got the majority of the votes, which I thought was kind of crazy. I thought it would have been a little bit closer, but in my opinion, this is my favorite color combination that Nia rocks here, and so definitely deserves a spot on this list. In particular, though, this minifigure is exclusive to the Katana 4x4 set, so unfortunately, the only way to get this awesome minifigure is in that set alone, so either you'll need to buy it on Bricklink, if you don't want to buy the set, or maybe you'll find it on eBay at some point. Number 9. At number 9, we have the very first villain minifigure that made a spot on this list. This is the Blizzard Sword Master. This minifigure comes in two different sets, the first one being Lloyd's Titan Mech, and the second one being the Castle of the Forsaken Emperor. And so relatively on more of the pricey side for sets, but this minifigure does not disappoint. Not only does he have a left arm that's semi-transparent light blue, but his actual minifigure head is as well. It's very rare for us to get transparent heads or translucent heads, and in this case we do, and so this is a great minifigure. I don't believe there are any of the other Blizzard Samurai minifigures that have a translucent head except for the Ice Emperor if I recall, and so this is a great minifigure to pick up and add to your collection. Number 8. Ironically, this wave only has two minifigures that have capes, but yet they're back-to-back -back on this list. This is the brand new Master Wu minifigure for Season 11. For this season, Wu is rocking this sort of cape in the back, a sort of tan color, so I believe this is the first time that Wu has ever been sporting a cape. He also has a brand new torso and leg print for this season, as well as head print. This is a very interesting opportunity that LEGO took to update the face print for Master Wu. We haven't gotten a new face print for him for a very long time. I guess since the Ninjago movie, and he's also rocking a sort of darker tan rice field hat on the very top. As far as the availability of this minifigure, he only comes in the Land Bounty set, which is a brand new introduction for Season 11. The Destiny's Bounty has had a complete makeover, and if you guys have not already checked out my video as I looked at the evolution of the bounty, there's a link on screen right now. You guys can watch it after this one. Overall, this is a great minifigure and also a great one to add to your collection of all the different Woo minifigure variants that we've ever gotten. Number 7. Up next, we have General Vex, another member of the Blizzard Samurai. Now, this minifigure is relatively common, which is a good thing. It's always nice to get really awesome minifigures easily in some of the sets. He's tied for the most common, and the other minifigure is just the original Blizzard Warrior minifigure that they call it. This guy comes in three different sets, including the Shuri Copter, the second one being Lloyd's Titan Mech, and the Castle of the Forsaken Emperor. And so there are a lot of opportunities to get this minifigure, which is awesome because because he is a great one. He's rocking the brand new samurai helmet and chest plate that we see on a few of these Blizzard Samurai minifigures. He's got an awesomely detailed minifigure head, as well as a transparent or translucent light blue left arm. Number 6. 
Up next, we have another ninja minifigure here, but more specifically, we have Forbidden Spinjitzu Kai. This is the minifigure that comes in the Spinjitzu Slam set, or I should say the starter set or the dual set, where we have Kai versus a Blizzard Samurai. It's important to note that this minifigure is vastly different compared to the one that comes in the Fire Fang set, which is also a Forbidden Spinjitzu Kai minifigure. However, this one in front of you has an exclusive torso, head print, as well as coloring on his Forbidden Spinjitzu Ninja Man piece in that gold in the very front instead of red. Personally, I just really like the color combinations on this figure. I think he's one of the most appealing minifigures in this wave. I love the gold and the red color combinations look great, as well as just the energy, or sh I should say the fire coming out of the head wrap piece on the very top. I think it perfectly fits Kai's element of fire and looks fantastic. Number 5. Up next is a minifigure that you may be surprised to see at this point on the list. To be honest, I think that the top five minifigures for this wave of Season 11 of Ninjago are all very, very closely ranked. In fact, it was very hard for me to decipher between them which one deserved a higher spot than the other ones. But ultimately, I decided here at number five is the Ice Emperor. This minifigure only comes in one set out of this wave, which is one of the largest ones, the Castle of the Forsaken Emperor. He has this awesome ice dragon that he rides in it. And overall the minifigure itself sticks to a really clean color combination of white light blue and transparent light blue overall just make this minifigure look very clean and complete which is definitely something that I look for whenever I'm ranking these minifigures the light blue hands give a good touch onto it and also signify maybe a connection to Zane possible that's just a big theory at this point I love the addition of the transparent light blue minifigure head for this figure, as well as the white rendition of General Vex's armor or shoulder pad piece on it. I believe it's the same piece, just flipped, and so they took it and kind of like wearing it backwards instead of forwards, and then they changed the color. And I think that's a very clever way for LEGO to do that, so that they can make an appearance that it is two different molds, and yet just different colored and worn a different way. I just thought that was interesting that I wanted to point out to you guys. Number four. Coming in at number four on this list, this is the very first Pyro Viper minifigure that we are looking at in this video. This is Asphira, and I believe that she is the main leader of the Pyro Vipers. There's been a lot of discussion between whether it is Asphira who's the leader or Char. I believe we'll learn in the trailer that we get tomorrow for the episodes. But nonetheless, this minifigure looks fantastic with the gold all over this minifigure. Also, the sort of flames that come out of that very large molded headpiece on the very top. Of course, that's a brand new piece for for this season just the transparent light orange coloring there kind of mixed in with some red I think looks very very nice on the torso of this minifigure the gold trend continues there's also some flame detailing there at the very bottom one of the main reasons why I really like this minifigure is just how unique it is and how kind of wacky it is at the same time I mean before season 11 who would have guessed that we would have got a pure gold and sort of like fire infused cobra snake minifigure with sort of a nauticon you know leg piece or ghost piece at the very bottom I mean it's pretty wacky but I think that Lego executed this minifigure quite quite nicely and it came out overall very much a success. Number three. Starting off the top three of this list, we have Akita here, who is a brand new character for Season 11. This minifigure in her human form here only comes in one set, which is the Castle of the Forsaken Emperor. Presumably from the information that we know of right now, Akita is able to transform between a three-tailed fox and her human form here. She will be aiding the ninja in their journeys. Since this is a brand new character for season 11, basically this entire minifigure is new to us as well. And let me just tell you that the pieces and the printing on this figure are really, really cool. Everything from that brand new molded headpiece on the very top with that sort of fox mask on the very top, which let me tell you is a very unique piece, down to the cape piece that she's wearing, which is to resemble her fox form with the three tail pieces in the back. That's a very different piece that Lego I don't believe has ever produced a cape piece like that before. In my mind I feel like the printing of this minifigure does not nearly receive as much attention as it should as most of your attention is diverted to this amazing cape piece and the hair and mask combo on the very top but if you do look at it it's got some really cool detailing in there as well. Number two. 
Now you may have expected to see this minifigure at one of the top spots on this list simply because of the fact that I like any minifigure that has a snake tail attached to it, but this is Char and even though I really just have some bias towards snake minifigures, I do think that this is a very solid minifigure to say the least. I love the new molded headpiece on the very top there in a nice black color with the transparent light orange on the sides. The new sort of almost like a copper colored shoulder pad armor for this minifigure I think complements the color scheme very nicely as well as just the overall new printing there on the snake tail piece on the very bottom. It's always nice to get those pieces. If you want to add this minifigure to your collection you'll have to pick up either the Katana 4x4 set or you could also pick up the Land Bounty. Both of the sets in this wave contain this Char minifigure in them. And number one. At the top spot on this list, this is the Forbidden Spinjitzu Lloyd minifigure, but more specifically, the exclusive one that comes in his very own Spinjitzu Slam set. That is a 10 US dollar set that it's going to be retailing for, and it's a relatively easy minifigure to get your hands on. However, I just feel that it's a very good minifigure, and the fact that you can get it so easy is awesome for Ninjago fans. I had a very difficult time deciding on the number one spot for this video between this minifigure here and Char, which ended up making number two. I ultimately went with this minifigure here as Lloyd for number one just because I really like the colors. I think that the chrome gold fits very nicely with the green and it complements it very nicely. The green energy coming out of the very top of the minifigure headpiece I think looks great as well as just the overall printing of there on the torso and the minifigure head. I think that the chrome gold reminds you kind of of the Ultimate Spinjitzu Master, some of the Golden Ninja minifigures we've gotten for Lloyd in the past, as well as him being the Green Ninja with his signature color of green being evident in the minifigure as well. Overall, I think this is a great figure, is my favorite in the wave. I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts down below. Be sure to let me know your guys' favorite minifigures for this wave of Summer 2019 Season 11 Ninjago sets. And that's going to wrap up today's video, counting down the top 10 Ninjago Season 11 minifigures. If you guys are new to the channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below. Also, check out one of the videos on screen right now. Leave a like on the video if you guys are excited for Season 11. As always, I'm Spipricks. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Have a great day, and as always, I'll see you guys in the next video coming very soon.